This was my temperated vivarium a year ago. Ant colonies lived side by side in peace as they hunted big predators. And this tank was the first one ever on at least YouTube that proved the functionality of a multi-ant species setup. Quite epic if you ask me. This tank hosted mainly four species of European ants. First, Europe's biggest ant species, Camponotus ligniperdus. They absolutely thrived in this tank. And as the biggest species, they were quite cocky too. Second and certainly smallest is the thief ants, Europe's smallest ant species. They also gourmandized on various things in this tank, even subterraneally. Next one is my favorite ant species to ever live in a vivarium of mine. The ant species is Lassius umbratus, a parasitic ant species. Here you can see a parasitic yellow worker and their hosts or slaves, the black ants. And here is the parasitic queen that has enslaved them. It is a fascinating process that I have covered in the video above. They managed well in the vivarium and began to make progress of their underground empire. And now let's finish with the cutest ones, the acorn ants. These guys really had a quite an empire before their introduction already, which they defended fiercely. And just as the other ant colonies, these guys flourished on my offerings inside the vivarium. But how was this small haven doing now? It might not be as epic as the tropical one, but it is still moderately biodiverse for its size and habitat, of course. I just have to begin by explaining to you guys that I am basically living in two countries at the moment, Thailand and Sweden. No more details about that, but I also want to mention that I spent the entire last year in Thailand leaving this temperated vivarium all alone under the watch of some people I know. During this time, the hosts of this vivarium unfortunately had to be away for a while and I did not want to risk the lives of the inhabitants inside, so I told them to leave it outside for the time letting the animals leave if needed. Get it? That resulted basically in the decline of the biodiversity in the tank. It is by now not a natural beauty anymore, the only ant colony left was the acorn ants. They really enjoyed their home to stick to these dead lands for so long. See the worker? I have now pillaged the vivarium and found some pretty cool stuff inside, to be honest. What is that white worm inside a pine? And there's a lot of microorganisms breaking down stuff all around the vivarium. But that is all fine because I have started to create another one. This one might even have a wet area. It is quite hard to build, but we'll see how it goes. It hosts a variety of plants. It isn't as green as I wanted it to be, but it's autumn now in Sweden and it is so hard to acquire the flora I want now. We will just have to wait until the next summer before this bad boy will thrive for real. 
Nevertheless, we will now introduce the fundamental organisms of this tank. A bunch of animals that were living in a compost. Just enjoy. welcome these cute inhabitants, I decided to provide a heartwarming gift for them. But I saw something strange happening in the back of the tank. What are you doing? Is that a slug climbing a tree? Is that some sort of genetic mutation or something? What it... Oh well, the night passed and my offerings were kept untouched. I could clearly see the traces from the big slug from the previous night. And after some short observation, I could notice him taking a huge shit in the left corner of the vivarium. Absolutely humongous. I also noticed that he had a small friend just by his side. I feel so sorry for the small guy witnessing a turd twice the size as him. Ew, you big fat poop creating creature. Now what's left is to introduce the ants. I have a bunch of species to introduce, but I will leave that for a future update. Have a fantastic day and may this vivarium thrive forever.